Today we are going to be going to an Australian food market here in Adelaide, Australia. My name is Nick and my wife is Sam and we have been traveling the world full time. And today we are in Adelaide at the Adelaide Central Market eating all of the good food and eating our first sausage roll. Let's go eat, shall we? Good morning and welcome to our last day in Adelaide and also our last day here in Australia. But today we are doing something that we've been saving since our whole time here in Adelaide. And we're going to this central market, which apparently has the best street food here in Australia. We have been to many food markets all over the world. Some of our favorites were in Thailand. We've been to food markets in Colombia, in Brazil, and today we're in Australia food market. There are just hundreds of different food stands here. You can find stands for food, coffee, drinks. You can find stands to buy vegetables, meats, cheeses, everything. So I think we're gonna enjoy our time here and I'm very ready to eat some food. Something we have yet to eat in Australia after our two weeks of being here is a meat pie. That was like the one thing every Australian we talked to said we have to eat a meat pie and we have yet to get one. So our mission is to get a meat pie. That's stop number one. Okay, so there are actually two things that every Australian told us to eat. The first one was the meat pie, which typically you get beef or pork, I think. But Sam doesn't eat beef, so we got a chicken one. And the second one is a sausage roll. And they had a pork and veal sausage roll. So we got the two for one here, and I am so looking forward to this sausage roll. It looks so delicious. It's just like gigantic and she can't eat it, so that's okay, all for me. As we were waiting for the sausage roll and the pie, I decided to go walk around, get a little more lay of the land, and I ran into this little cart called King Size Chicken Dim Sum. We had four left, so I snagged two of them. They look so delicious. You get dim sum, you get the oversized dim sum, and a sauce. I got sriracha, and the other one was soy, I think it's just soy sauce but they look very delicious and very hot. Dim sum is like one of my most favorite food of all time. Soy sauce is up there on my some of my most favorite foods of all time. Cheers! That does not taste like a dim sum. That's like a meat pie wrapped in rice dough. That is not at all what I was expecting and I'm not mad about it. We've noticed though, being in Australia for the last two weeks, that the Asian food influence here is crazy. It's absolutely everywhere all throughout Australia. So we've been eating tons of Asian food over the last two weeks. First ever Australian meat pie and it's chicken. I kind of wish it was beef. I wish I could eat beef, but it's chicken and it looks delicious and I cannot wait. It looks like a chicken pot pie. Oh yeah, oh my god, yeah. Ooh, that, is, that tastes like a chicken pot pie. Like it's creamy, like it's like a, it's like a soupy, creamy, like a really thick stew, I guess, with like some vegetables, maybe some carrots in there. Maybe just onions. Onions, garlic, chicken, cheese, and this really soft, really flaky dough. Oh, look at that bite. Ooh, that looks so good. But if you do know the traditional ingredients for Australian pies, meat pies, let us know in the comments below. All right, we're going for the pork and veal sausage roll. I don't know if this is traditional, it's supposed to be beef, or if this is the traditional sausage in it, but it looks so delicious. Similar to the pie, the crust is like flaky and crust, crusty, crunchy, and it's hot. It's burning my fingers, but it looks so good. It looks like it needs to be like dipped in ketchup. Is that bad? Should I not say that? Oh my God. It tastes like, like a breakfast sausage roll. That might be the best thing I've had in Australia. Let me give you a little bit of history and background and fun facts about the Adelaide Central Market. It opened its doors in 1869, and it's one of the oldest and largest open produce markets in the entire Southern Hemisphere. 
which is super cool. There are over 80 stands in this entire market that sell a range of products, produce, meats, spices, vegetables, everything that you can get, it's all going to be found in this market. And let me tell you another interesting fact. It's one of the top tourist things to do in this state, and there are 8.5 million visitors a year that visit the Adelaide Central Market. So it is a big deal here and we're already loving it. It is off to a very strong start with some delicious food, but we have a lot left to see and a lot okay. left to eat. I guess there's an upstairs to this market. I had absolutely no idea, so let's go check it out. There's no upstairs, they're just parking garages. As exciting as that was, the car park is super cool, but we're going back to the market. One of my most favorite things about these food markets around the world are the fruit stands and the flower stands, because whenever you get to the flower stands, it just smells so good, and the fruit stands are full of like the most beautiful, vibrant, amazing colors. Oh, it's like my favorite part, and the fruit looks so fresh it's so good and I wish that we could stay here longer so we could just like load up on delicious fruit so the market is only open from Tuesday to Saturday and we landed here Friday night super late so today is the only day we could come here I've never seen Algerian paella I feel like we should get some it looks so good. It is not just Australian food, it's an international food market. So they have food from around the world, clearly, like this Algerian paella. And I think we should try it. Your chicken paella. Thank, Thank you, you so much. All right, Algerian paella. Didn't even know it existed until today, but it looks fantastic. I think the red sauce is like a chili paste wow super savory not spicy at all for some reason in my mind i pictured it spicy because i think some african countries just use like killer spice zero spice very savory like the fattiness kind of coats your mouth and it's just like a something on a cold day like the meat pie we just had something on a cold day it just kind of like hugs you just hugs you and just holds you in. If you don't know what a pa what paella is, it's like a rice dish that's cooked with a bunch of vegetables and typically a meat cooked on like a very large cast iron skillet, which is called a paella, I guess. And it's like kind of charred at the bottom. So when you scrape it and like mix it all together, they're like pieces of charred from the cast iron that are so delicious and you can definitely taste it in this. This tastes kind of like a tomatoey, chicken brothy, the coriander and garlic and onion and tomatoes and like chili pepper sauce, but it's definitely not spicy. savory things we are so stuffed we're gonna end our eating adventures here in the market with something sweet and as I walk by it I already know what it is they have tons of delicious options and if you've been following us for a while once you saw you would know exactly what I'm gonna pick that's what I'm getting I got a caramel bar which is what it's called. It looks like maybe caramel fudge with a chocolate top and maybe a little bit of a graham cracker crust. I'm not sure, but it looks delicious. Mm. Oh my God. I don't even like sweet things really. Mm. That tastes like straight caramel, chocolate and graham cracker crust. But like the caramel is like soft. I thought it was gonna be like a hard fudgy one, but it's like, a soft, actual, like, caramel. Oh, look how big that thing is. 
So it's a chocolate chip cookie with straight Nutella in the middle. I just want to eat the middle of it. I don't know if I can eat this whole thing right now, so I might save some for our very early flight for breakfast tomorrow. Is it everything you wanted, babe? And more? Mmm. There's like Nutella on the inside as well as the middle. There's like just a touch warm. I live off this. <laughs> Slogan for this market is where can you where can you learn something new, listen to local talent, and shop your way around the world? Only at the market. That is such clever marketing. Marketing, do you get it? Market, marketing. No, that was not good. <laughs> we have totally enjoyed our day here at the Central, the Adelaide Central Market and we are so sad to be leaving Adelaide. The city of churches has really wooed us over the last four days. So thank you for sticking around. Tomorrow we actually head to a new country. Nick and I are renting a camper van for 12 days and we will be traveling all around South and the North Island in New Zealand. And we, this is like a bucket list trip for Nick and he is like a little kid at a candy shop, like he was eating the Nutella, thinking about doing this camper van trip tomorrow. So we hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure you hit that subscribe button, like, comment, do all the things, and until next time, we will see you on the go. Okay, here, I'm gonna bend down and... Can you see, can you see Central Market? If I bend right here, can you see that? Or go like this? Yeah, do that. Okay, ready? Okay, ready? In Colombia, in Brazil, and we are now in one in Australia. I'm like, Okay, ready? Dim sum is like, woo! <laughs> that tastes like a meat pie. Like a, is it pork? Chicken. That tastes like a chicken meat pie that's wrapped in, like, what is this? Rice. It's, yeah, rice paper. Rice. That's like rice dough. I'm Nick, and my wife is Samantha. We have no, a Samantha. No one calls me that. Okay, give me the What the? Okay. I got a caramel ball. What? Caramel ball. <laughs> Maybe some like cheesecake. What's the bottom of, of a cheesecake? But Nick can't wait. He cannot wait to open up this Nutella cup cookie. It's all he wants. He's walked by this stand like 75 times and has pointed to this cookie 75 times. So it's time for him to eat it for my sake, really. Nick just told the people at this stand where we got these sugary treats. It was just, it was like, this is an image. He was talking about Nutella because he loves Nutella. If you've been following us for a while, you know that Nick loves Nutella. <laughs> and he told these girls who are like really young and really sweet, he goes, I could, I mean, just give me the bucket of Nutella. I'll just stick my hand in it and eat, eat it off my hand. And I was like, whoa, that is a visual. <laughs> oh, that is a really, <laughs> I really hope he never does that. Although I wouldn't put it past him, I bet he will. <laughs> That is love, that's what 10 years together. I don't know, that didn't even shock me, wow. But we hope you enjoyed this video. We hope you enjoyed eating all the food. It's like taking trash out, can you see him? Okay.